thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already, like, share, comment, and subscribe. The day's finally here at Token Taverns. I'm here with Neil Hernandez. <laughs> We're taking a road trip out to Tampa for the premiere of the film. It's sold out. It's at the AMC Sundial in St. Pete. We're excited to take you along for our little vlog. Thank you for tuning in. We're on the Coney Island driving Hot Dog Emporium. Elvis was here. Elvis yeah. ate a hot dog here. Apparently so Elvis ate hot dogs at, at this, uh, this very like, place. Nobody, nobody cares. They say it's, it's the world famous Coney Franks. Destination is on your left. And this place is packed too, surprisingly. On tour with Neil Hernandez. Neil has been bragging about this. You're recording thing. already? Yeah. Oh shit. He's been so, bragging about this uh, the item that they sell here called the the world famous gator dog. I don't know. About gator <laughs> Literally dog. the Big only baby. place I've ever yeah, seen that like sells the hot, gator hot man, dogs. I just like the hot dog here. I've never seen a gator hot dog, but we're about to see where they sell them. Well, <laughs> is here's, it only I, in here. what, what's the name of this town, Neil? Brooksville. We're in Brooksville, Florida. That's only in Brooksville, this Florida. Is last, this is the last town that was held by Spain, right? I'll put it this way. Oh, There's God, one exit over, you can get dirt bike lessons. Right now, you can get a gator dog where we're located, so. You know, it's just like, eh, no. Here, cut through here. So, in here, apparently Elvis ate here. There's a whole bunch of Elvis memorabilia in here. Pretty neat. They saw other stuff besides the hot dogs and stuff. Hot dogs The old Coney dogs. Are you on? Anyways, guys, we're about to eat some food. No See you on the next so you, stop. You notice all the, like, he, they had a whole bunch of, like, Elvis stuff over there. Um, there's a whole bunch of Elvis memorabilia, like, little knickknacks and stuff all over the place. But apparently, Elvis Elvis ate here, and so do, so do I. And, uh, you know, I guess uh, this is, like, uh, breakfast of champions. It's what it is. So you want to be the best, you got to eat the best. Hot dogs, and that's, I think that's where it goes down. And then last time, the end on a shot. That's the menu. No, right there, that's the shot. Gator dog, yeah, you're not gonna get it. So we are in our hotel over at the Days Inn. This place is, oh, yeah. uh, I mean, it you know, it suspect to say the least. But we are about to check out Lori's Parkade yeah, yeah. down in Tampa. See you guys soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are heading to Lori's Parkade, uh, Barcade in Tampa. There's a boy Neil checking in here at this Lowry, Lowry totally luxury. Hotel days in here in St. Petersburg, Florida. Tis, tis, tis. So we're here at the Lowry Parkade. Uh, Lowry Parkade is also going to be in Token Taverns. Uh, Robert, unfortunately, is not here today. My buddy. Uh, so yeah, me and Rob go back many years, and um, he opened up his own barcade, and he's over in Tampa. And I let every time I'm in town. I like to swing by and say hi. And uh, you're gonna see this stuff is pretty good. There's a very good job at it. So, here at Laurie, I've dealt with Robert multiple times. 
He's had a lot of these games here for years, but one game that sticks out, and I can't believe he still has it. I sold him that Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I gave him the whole kit, and, he's, and that's the original marquee. So it's cool that he still has it. It's probably out of order now, but but yeah. Um, Laurie, Laurie uh, actually believes in still having the CRTs. So you'll notice a lot of the monitors still have the CRTs. He's a purist, just like a lot of the collectors like ourselves that they want CRTs, right? The Frogger, it's been here forever. A lot of these have been here forever, but when he changes up, and it's actually pretty nice, it gets changed up, are the pins. So the pins that are up here, they get, he swaps them out with other, with, you know, other stuff that comes in. Uh, we got an Attack from Mars. We have an Ultraman. That's from uh, Spooky. You don't get to see that a lot. But an Attack from Mars, this is a redo. They did a, they did a very good job in getting this one. But yeah, it's always it's always um, a very fun spot. Over here, this is the, uh, the Elvira. You got an Elvira pinball. We have uh, Godzilla Pro. And then this one's pretty cool. This is the Avengers Premium. It has a horseshoe ramp right here. And um, when you hit this shot, I call it the horseshoe because it looks like a horseshoe shot. When you hit this shot, it actually feels pretty good when you hit it because it's almost impossible. Uh, you have Spider-Man, you have Lord of the Rings on the left. Monster Bash and Iron Maiden. But, uh, and then we have a fine selection of craft beers. A very fine selection of craft, craft beers. So, so yes, this is the bar that will be featured tomorrow in Oaken uh, Taverns. Oaken Taverns. This is the night before. We're just checking it out, taking a little tour of Tampa. This is a, a beautiful theater though. It's gonna get down here, Token Taverns. And uh, yeah, check this out, bro. As you can tell, the date this, this is during the height of the Mario movie. We're gonna look at this IMAX theater together. And you're gonna see something cool. Because how often do you get to go into an IMAX theater all by yourself? Look around and just see it all. We can do it to ourselves. Okay. It's a bit dark in here. But anyways, premiere is going to begin. We'll get some footage of the cast and crew of Token Tavern shortly. But just to give you an idea of what's going on here. So, and then you can see there's where the film festival stuff is. And then, yeah, to give you an idea, there's the film festival official poster. So, I'll catch up with you guys again shortly. See you soon. What's it feel like to finally see the premiere and see this movie with an audience? No, it's awesome. This is actually the first premiere of all the films I've been involved in that I've had. I'm here because everything that happened here, I was a part of it. Everything that happened here, I saw it evolve. Now I want to see the whole picture from everybody else's eyes and not just mine.
Indy Wrights. Um, so we're super excited about that. And um, pretty much starting tomorrow, once I sleep for 20 hours or so, um, I'm going to be delivering the movie. So the movie should be coming out um, uh, this summer, probably late summer. Um, and, uh, you know, you guys just obviously follow us on social media. You'll know when it comes out. Um, and, yeah, we're excited about that. And also, I've, um, I've, I've got up with a bunch of uh, really cool, big Synthwave artists. And even this week, I'm almost remixing this whole movie music-wise. So the next time you see it, it'll even be up another level. So that's something exciting to look forward to for when we actually are releasing um, and I'm sure we'll have a big party for that as well. Um, but really, just want to turn this over to you guys for Q&A. Um, we've got Billy up here as well, Billy Mitchell. Everybody's here. Ask anybody anything you want. Um, and we'd love to hear what you guys think of the movie or anything you want to know um, about what's been going on with these guys. I mean, keep in mind, I filmed from 2020 to 2022-ish. Um, so even like the end of that movie is um, is, is still kind of almost a year and a half ago. So these guys have been doing a lot of stuff since then. So I have the speaker box here. So um, anybody uh, who wants to go first? <laughs> anybody, anybody. Okay. Any plans for Vector to come back? Uh, we've, uh, uh, we've toyed with it a few times and you know, we've had a couple opportunities and it just didn't work out, but uh, I guess never say nothing. <laughs> One of the things when I watched the film that I, it hit me the wrong way, to be honest. Your place was closing, and there were different people around the country, as difficult it was here in Florida, it was more difficult other places. And I, different groups of people came to try to help in different ways, to try to draw attention, uh, create income. And I thought to myself, geez, why didn't we do something? I mean, a rescue or a GoFundMe, the most ignorant things in the world, and they raised six figures. So your place would still be open. And so now I'll be driving home beating myself up saying, wow, why didn't we do that for you? That's kind of the things that, that hit you different ways. Well, I'd like to respond to that. Yeah, sure, sure. sure. Yeah, you know, COVID was tough and that was a big factor in why we closed, but we had other issues besides that. We had rent issues and lease issues. That 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 job, so. so yeah, you'll find me would be good, but we'd still be in a situation. So. <laughs> yeah, we had, we had clear water and religious things. I can't tell you what happened to some of his machines though. Uh, we purchased his No Fear machine and had that for, I don't know, about a, a year, a year and a half. Um, and it's so funny when you see this, like, so this is a little side note. We already went to arcade bars and, and have been to Lowry Parkade quite a bit um, and have been to Reboot before. We haven't been to Vector yet. but. Did not play pinball whatsoever, and because of this movie, that that time that he delivered the uh, last action hero, that's that was me and Marge's house. That was our home, and it was actually a sly way of starting to film with you because nobody was doing anything yet. And I'm like, we need to film something, and so we're like, well, if we rent a machine, we'll have some cameras, we'll just roll on it. <laughs> and and because of that, we became fully addicted to uh, pinball. We're on our third or fourth now. And uh, we can't get enough. I mean, we're we're at Park Aid at least once a week. So. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, we're fully in. Um, let me ask you guys. Why don't we go down the line and you guys just give us a quick little what's what's been going on since filming? If you let somebody got a question, anybody got a question yet? Got a question. Yep. Okay, cool. No, right. Go for it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, nice. All right. Hey guys, this is uh, Stan Lee, aka DJ Imminent, aka aka uh, Rob. You still can't beat me in, in, in third strike. Uh, so this is a question for Rob and for the rest of you guys up there. Rob normally does like a battle of the breweries, but I see all these awesome, you know, bar owners. Have you guys or thought about or be willing to do like a battle of the bar owners or barcades? Did I put anybody on the spot there? Hell yeah, <laughs> yeah I think we should do that. Uh, I think we've talked about it too well, before. Well, we when you were doing a, a you know, breweries. It was just us, though. Like, it wasn't, well, it wasn't an, it wasn't an official um, right. event, yeah, yeah. but we did try to challenge, you know, your 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, I think that's a great question, though. I think Rob really did like an awesome situation, especially with the breweries, because a lot of times the breweries really want more interaction from the bar owners. And one of the things that we do um, is we'll do like um, promoted pimple tournaments, and usually that the, uh, the the brewery will like give us some free swag and stuff like that. Um, but it, it's it's definitely a great idea, and I feel like we should do it amongst the owners too, and, and definitely have Mike there as well to kill us in pretty much every other game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think that's a great question. Another question I get a lot is, um, were we watching the Nutty Professor? Because my weight fluctuated a lot during that movie, and I don't know if anyone really noticed that. And my beard, yeah, it was the weight a lot too. But th thanks for asking that question. <laughs> I'd say us and the staff too. I'd love to have like all the staff, like so staff challenge too for, for that. I think that'd be oh, super yeah. fun. Yeah. So yeah, let's do that. Thank you, Blake. Yeah, you guys have one more. Okay. Jason. One more. Throw it, Brian. Just throw it. That's the one. So, uh, first off, really great. I, I like how it all came together. Um, and I actually just wanted to ask, uh, considering how much I just saw, I know that you shot a lot of footage that I didn't see. Uh, and I, it makes me wonder, how many hours do you have to film in order to like cut everything together to make like a compelling uh, experience like that? Okay, okay, so I can tell you this, every day that I film, I make a folder, and it's got the date, number so sequence, so it goes in order, and um, I mean, there's, I, I don't like to look at it anymore, because I don't want to know how much, but I mean, we're talking hundreds, but it just depends, right, so it's, it's interesting, what's interesting is the majority of that film, or when things were really kind of like, let's just say the middle, all the way through the time jump. I mean, that was probably just like a couple of months, like a few months. And so the meat of it all took place in this one time period, and that was during COVID. But then there became a, a waiting game because I didn't want to end the film um, uh, in that. You know, I didn't want this to be a COVID movie. It's definitely the antagonist. But it's just about arcade bars, and this is a hurdle that they had to face just like a lot of other people. But it's unique to, what, why, why it's unique to them. But there became this back producing thing of, okay, I need footage of people playing that aren't wearing masks. <laughs> and so I would not only have like bins of footage, I would have mask footage and non-mask footage. Um, but for this, a lot of this front end stuff, you know, and, and then obviously I stopped filming for a while just for things to kind of normalize. Um, so this was a unique one because there also becomes a little bit of a waiting game for, I like to have a good finish. So I'm waiting for Infinity Pizza to open. I waited for the sixth anniversary. I knew that that was just gonna be perfect end for that. And then and then free play as an end for the whole thing. Like we, we button up their stories, but then free play kind of buttons up the whole arcade bar thing as a whole. You know, and that's where you see those those scenes. That's kind of like where Billy and some of the other guys are bumping in. So this one had a lot, um, but I, I feel like the wait was worth it. You know, um, because you don't know what these things are going to turn out like. You you kind of predict or you you think what you want it to be, but it never is, and you have to let it be what it is. And then that's where the truth comes. So yeah, it was a lot, and I don't want to know, and I definitely don't want to know how long it took me to edit this. <laughs> And I definitely had a two hour, a two hour 15, and just you just whittle it down and down and down to get it as close to 90 as you can, you know? Seems like you had enough footage to do what you did individually on each one of them. Yes, definitely. I definitely could, you know, and, and that's the thing too. So even in our social media, as the movie's releasing, I'll be trickling out a lot of this other stuff. Because I even, just the things that I've cut out that were edited in, 
is is 20, 25 minutes of material. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so uh, Billy actually had something for you guys that he wants to uh, present you. I'll let you take it, Billy. Well, I believe in memorabilia. So I hate it when someone walks up and they say, "Can I have your signature?" and they hand you a napkin. I mean, what do you think is going to happen with your signature and a napkin? So. You start there. All right. So many for this. Okay, so it's a vector logo. It's got the Tokens and Taverns poster. And for you, I stuck Walter Day's face in the poster. All right. So, <laughs> so tell people who don't know that you're, and, your other job. Besides yeah, my real job is I, I don't get paid enough to do this. My real job is I, I manufacture products. And the most popular one is hot sauce, which I'm grateful for it. Can you imagine if I was up here saying I, I made you a bottle of relish? I mean, you know, you know, like an idiot. Yeah. And so, then here, you got Doc Max face in the poster. Sweet. Awesome. Thank you. Then you got the creme de la creme. You got me in the poster. <laughs> and then there's a whole bunch of Token and Tavern hot sauce. And the thing is, just to throw these guys under the bus. There's a whole bunch over there. If you're nice to them, there's enough for them to give away to whomever they want to. So if they like you, you might get one. If they don't like you, you'll know it because they won't give you one. And you got twice, you got twice as many as them. All right guys, again, I want to thank you all. Thanks so much for coming out. What's up? Is there a... Is there a possibility to have an extended version of the movie? Yeah. Yes, okay, I'll tell you that real quick. That's something I talked to my distributor about, is uh, when the movie is out, kind of run its course a little bit, I was gonna come out with a kind of extended uh, uh, release, kind of for, for the pe insiders, for people in the community who want to see more. That's definitely in the works. I missed the wrestling, I missed the wrestling. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 oh, yeah, oh, yeah, and we are going to, are you saying another showing, another? Well, no, I mean, like, like an additional footage version. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's definitely in the works, for sure. So, and I'll, I'll say this real quick, guys, um, everybody might not have got to get pictures, definitely uh, get pictures on the way out. I definitely want you guys, I want to get a group photo before everybody leaves, okay? And we are having an after party at Three Daughters Brewing. Anybody wants to come eat, drink, and be merry with us? Play. They got a full lineup of pinball. Um, you know, I'm, I'm anxious to play. And uh, we, so we'll be out there taking photos. If anybody wants photos, we need people. And we have our merch tent. If anybody's interested, in a shirt, poster, or whatever. Yeah, we'll do it on the on the thing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and uh, yeah, just follow us on Token Towers and all your social media, guys. All right. Robert actually has a Budweiser Tapper cocktail table. Extremely rare, big time rare. Uh, actually, he's probably the only one that I know that has one in this side of Florida. We have one at Arcade Odyssey, but it's the stand-up, not a cocktail. I'm gonna play it for you, and you guys can see um, it's pretty neat. Same setup, up, down, left, right, and pull the, pull the lever for the for the beer, the same scenario. Yeah, get over me. And here at Lowry, he still uses tokens. So it's pretty neat. All right, here we go. Here, get over my shoulders, probably better. Let's see how far I can go. One, 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 one. Go away.